welcome to Jill's Baldies. Joel Hancock here again, and today is the final episode of season one of Jill's Baldies. So today I'll be reading the final chapter, and for this very special occasion of the final episode of season one, I want to bring my cat Melody in again to say hi, because I know she's so cute. Alright, come on, Mills. You can say hi. Hi. Oh, Mel. Mel, say hi to everyone. Aw, she loves all of you. She's very cuddly. All right, well, I'm I'm going to bring her out after I pray. Um, and before I do that, I, I just wanted to say I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you all had time to see your family and friends, because that's what it's all about. All right, so Mel, come on. Now we're going to pray. All right, dear God, thank you for all that you've given us. Um, just thank you for, for all you've done for us. Thank you that we have homes, that all of us can have homes, shelters, and roofs. Like, just thank you for everything we have. Um, I pray that my brother doesn't have any more seizures. I pray the people that are sick and that includes COVID-19, like, that they'll get better. And I pray that COVID-19 goes away very soon. And we can get back to normal life. And in Jesus' name, amen. All right, amen. So anyways, let's jump into Genesis chapter 50. But first, let me just have Mel say goodbye. Mel say bye. Bye. All right, bring her out. Thank you. Alright, so anyways, please jump into Genesis chapter 50, the final chapter of the Bible. Um, if you have a, a type of Bible like um, cardboard Bible like mine, Kindle Bible, phone Bible, or any type of Bible, then please jump into Genesis chapter 50. Um, if if you don't have a Bible, and you can't have, like, if you don't have a Bible, then just listen in. But anyways, I am going to start Genesis chapter 50. So we're still in Jacob's death and burial. Oh, by the way, um, the reason I haven't uh, brought in any um, episodes for the last two or three weeks was because... I tried to find a guest star, but I couldn't find one. But and I was on vacation in Zion National Park some of this week and last week. All right. So, anyways, finally I'm here. So, anyways, please jump into your Bibles to Genesis chapter 50. All right. So here I go. And if you don't have a Bible, then just listen. All right. So here am I beginning Genesis chapter 50, and we're still in Jacob's death and burial. Then. Joseph fell on his father's face, and wept over him, and kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servants, and the physicians, well, let, me, let me ask how to pronounce that. Hey Google, how do you pronounce physicians? Playing how to pronounce scenes, Oops. pronunciation a cat. Oops. Hey Google. How do you pronounce P H Y S I C I A N S? That's pronounced physicians. The physicians to embalm his father. So the physicians embalmed Israel. Forty days were required for it. And for that is how are how many are required for embalming. And the Egyptians wept for him seventy days. And when the days of weeping for him were past, Joseph spoke to the household of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found favor in your eyes, please speak in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made my swear. My father made me swear, sorry, saying, I'm about to die in my tomb. Oh, excuse me. Alright, um. Well, I'm going to read verse 5 again. 
My father made me swear, saying, I'm about to die in my tomb, and I hood or heed. Let me ask how to pronounce that. Hey, Google, how do you pronounce H E W E D? That's pronounced hewed. I hewed my, out for myself in the land of Canaan. There shall y- you bury me. Now, therefore, let me please go up and bury my father. Then I will return. And Pharaoh answered, Go up and bury your father, as he made you swear. So Joseph went up to bury his father. With him, w- with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his household, and all the elders of the land of Egypt, as well as all the household of Joseph, his brothers, and his father's house- household. Only their children... Only their children, their flocks, and their herds were left in the land of Goshen. And there went up with him both chariots and horsemen. It was a very great company. When they came to the threshing floor of Atad, or Atad, which is beyond the Jordan, they lamented, or yeah, lamented, they lamented there, there with a very great and grievous lamentation. And he made a mourning for his father seven days. When the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mor- mo- mourning on the threshing floor of Atad, they said, This is a grieving mourning by the Egyptians. Therefore, this place was named Abel Mizram, or Ram. It is beyond the Jordan. Thus his sons did for him as he had commanded them. For his sons carried them to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of at Machpelah to the cast of memory, memory which Abraham brought with the field from Ephron, the Hittite, to possess as a burying place. All right, well, I read half of the verses, so that's 13 verses of 26 in Genesis chapter 50. So I will read the rest of the verses later. But first, let's jump into our first worship song. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. So our first worship song is Jesus Paid It All by um, Fernando Ortega. So let's pull that up. Hey, Google. Play Jesus Paid It All with lyrics. Playing Newsboys, Jesus Paid It All, lyrics on YouTube. I was totally stranded. And just a commercial real quick. So what happened? Well, we started buying Charmin Super Mega Roll. Charmin Super Mega Roll is six rolls in one and just lasts so much longer. Enjoy the go with Charmin, guaranteed to fit all your money back. Jesus, baby. 
worship song that was really pretty too and just so you know that was just a singing group singing Fernando Ortega's song so anyways please jump back into your Bibles and I'll read the the final verses of Genesis and Genesis chapter 50 all right so verses 14 to 26 here I go after he had buried his father Joseph returned to Egypt with his brothers and all who had gone up with him to bury his father. All right, now we're in God's good purposes. When Joseph's, when Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, It may be that Joseph will hate us and pay us back for all the evil that we did to him. So they sent a message to Joseph, saying, your father gave this command before he died. Say to Joseph, Please forgive the transgression of your brothers and their sin, because they did evil to you. And now, please forgive the transgression of the servants of the God of your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. His brothers also came and fell down before him and said, Behold, we are your servants. But Joseph said to them, Do not fear, for I am for for am I in the peace of God. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive, as they are today. So do not fear. I will provide for you and your little ones. Thus he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. All right. All right, finally, we're in the death of Joseph. Ooh, scary. All right, so Joseph remained in Egypt and his father's, he, he and his father's house. Joseph lived 110 years. Wow. People lived a, a long time, like, back back then, like, in the Bible. Like, like I, and I think, like, before, like, after the Ark, that like many people think that after the ark that people started to live less years I, I've just heard it been said my dad kind of I think my dad thinks that too all right so anyways verses 23 to 26 and Joseph saw Ephraim's children of the third generation the children also of Machir the son of Manasseh were counted as Joseph's own and Joseph said to his brothers I am about to die, but God will visit you and bring you up out of this land to the land that he swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Then Joseph made the sons of Israel swear, saying, 
God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here. So Joseph died, being a hundred and ten years old. They embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. Yay! I finished one chapter, officially, of Genesis. But before we jump into our second and final worship song, I just wanted to read like a little caption, like from right here, and it's following Jesus from Genesis chapter 50, verses 15 to 21. Why not get even? Now Joseph had his chance. He was a ruler in Egypt, and his father wasn't around anymore to keep the peace. At least he could get even with his brothers for selling him into slavery. But he wouldn't do it. Why not? Read Genesis chapter 50, verses 15 to 21. Joseph forgave his brothers instead of looking for revenge, because he knew God had used even their sin to make good things happen. Hmm, that's interesting. God is always looking out for us and forgiving us our sins. If someone hurts you, never forget that God is taking care of you. There's no need to get even. So if there's something bad, don't get even. All right. Maybe that someone who hurt you is hurting with guilt. To whom can you speak kind, a kind word of forgiveness today? Yay! Finished officially one chapter of the Bible. There's actually 66, which is a lot of chapters. All right, well, finally finished one. All right, so anyways, um, let's jump into our second and final worship song today. Throne of Praise by Don Moen. Hey, Google. Play Throne of Praise by Don Moen. Throne of Praise, live by Don Moen. Sure, playing on YouTube Music.
songs they are beautiful yeah they really are and i had lyrics with me so i can sing it easily all right so anyways um before before this episode ends i just wanted to read uh Jan- i mean font song um my last font psalms verses for this season so i'm gonna read psalms uh chapter 51 verses 1 to 4 so don't worry, this won't be long. So so you don't need your Bibles for this. You can just hear me for this one. All right, so. Create in me a clean heart, O God. To the choir master, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet went to him after he had gone into Bathsheba. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my tr- transgressions. Wash me th- thoroughly from my iniqu- iniquity, iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Yay! I read all. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. So that, so that you may be justified in your words. And blameless in your judgment. Yay! All right. And throne of praise, it 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 made me want to follow in God more. So that should be nice. I hope it does for you guys too. Well, anyways, I hope you I hope you have all enjoyed the first season of Joel's Bible Days. And remember, this show is about learning about God, worshiping about God, praying about God. So just following in God up there. And remember, he loves all of you and will do anything for you. He died on he died on the cross for your sins. So I'm encouraging you to follow in God. That's the whole point. To follow in God. Alright, so anyways, let's pray and then I'll say goodbye. Dear God, thank you for another wonderful day to learn about you. Um thank you that there's a spot. In, in heaven for us. Thank you that you love us so much that you would do anything for us, even though we we have we do sins. Um, just thank you for all you do for us. Um, I pray that my that my brother Chase has no more seizures, and has a good and has a a good run at the hos, at the hospital from. Monday to Friday, and um, I I pray that COVID nineteen and all the people ha, ha, are sick and even have COVID nineteen like that they will get better, and um, I just pray that COVID nineteen will go away soon. And in Jesus' name, Amen. All right. Well, anyways, looks like that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the um, season one of finale of. Jules Bow Days, and I'll see you all next time for the season two premiere next week for Jules Bow Days. Goodbye, everyone, and I'll see you next week for new episodes. Bye! <laughs>